Terus Aisyah radhiyallahu anha. Who was Aisyah radhiyallahu anha? She was the daughter of Abu Bakr radhiyallahu an. Abu Bakr Siddiq radhiyallahu an. And who was Abu Bakr Siddiq? Abu Bakr Siddiq, he was a well-known man in Mecca, right? Well-known, honest. He was an aristocrat, a well, a, 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 a very influential man. He was a he was the the, the uh, supporter of the Prophet Sallam. He was a companion of the Prophet Sallam, and Aisha was his daughter. She's the woman that memorized the Quran when the Quran was revealed. When the last ayats of the Quran, the last six thousand six hundred thirty-six ayats were revealed, three months later, Aisha had memorized the whole Quran. Think about that. Secondly, let's look at Aisha radhiyallahu anha. Aisha radhiyallahu anha because she lived with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She saw him. She understood him intimately, clearly. Her mind was bright, and she was a powerful young girl, a very aggressive young girl, powerful, aggressive, and deep and intelligent. Memorized the whole Quran, and guess what? She was holding with her when the Prophet Sallam passed away at least 2,600 ahadiths that nobody else knew. And that's why after Abu Huraira radiallahu anha, nobody related to us more hadiths than Aisha radiallahu anha. She was the teacher of 72 of the companions of the Prophet Sallam and the tabi'een and the atba'a tabi'een. She was their teacher, our mother. And when the Prophet Sallam passed away, she was only 18 years old, which means she only was married to the Prophet Sallam and lived with him nine years. And when she died, she was a mother of the believers. Is that correct or not? Is that right or not? So that means nobody could marry their mother. So from 18 years old until she was 73 years old, she lived by herself teaching. Which one of the women could do that?